Hello everybody on the King Kogi airship. Today is a very exciting day for me because guess who got their very first sponsorship on the King Kogi YouTube channel? Yes, we've done it Kogi, we won't stop. <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> Professional face. Today I'm working with Rakuten, which is a massive online shop. I mean, everyone in Japan would know who I'm talking about. And they offer the largest selection of Japanese goods. They have a lot of frequent sales and you can earn points as you shop that can convert into money that you use on your shopping. But Martina, you say, why must you tease me with the idea of shopping on this amazing Japanese website when you know they don't ship overseas? <laughs> Well, that's why Rakuten got a hold of me. Rakuten now has an overseas shipping service called Rakuten Global Express, and they ship worldwide. That means you can purchase items on Rakuten and on other Japanese websites, and Rakuten Global Express will ship them to you, even if you're not living inside of Japan. This is a game changer, people. A game changer. With a few exceptions, like you can't buy things like raw meat or things that you can't ship overseas normally. So you can just make sure you check that before you buy something. But I don't think you guys are going to be like, a crate of apples! So today I'm going to be doing some unboxing of items that I purchased on Rakuten. They are all made in Japan and I think they're going to tickle your fancy. It's going to wet your whistle. It's going to twist your undies. It's going to make your tummy do some flips. I don't know the phrases. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I wish my meal looked like it was the shape of an animal? Because I know I have. Um, I could not resist this amazing, magical device, you guys. Okay, so this is like a rice press. So you actually create a hole as the mouth and you can fill it with whatever you'd like. Of course, they're using curry as an example because it's quite popular, but you can also see other examples, like they have omu rice, they have things like stew. Um, I mean, anything with rice. I don't know how it's gonna work. I can't wait to open this up and see what's inside of it. It comes with like all these extra little goodies. I don't really know what they're for, but let's go. Let's do this. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, an adorable instruction book. You guys, look at this. <laughs> Somebody's job was to make all these faces and to take photos of them to put on this. And today that's kind of my job. <gasps> Mama, I'm doing what I always wanted to do. Take photos of food shaped like animals. It comes with a complex guide for different animals. Now, <gasps> there's a pig. Originally, I was going to make a panda bear, which is what came on the cover of the box. But uh, once I discovered that there was a pig possibility, we're gonna be making some kogi rice. That's what's about to happen, which works out really well because kogi does mean meat in Korean. So it's kind of like saying, I'm gonna make meat rice. Don't tell him that. Don't tell him that. Okay, so we've got two different versions of these. This one can be used as a frog, a panda bear, a bear. It's got like the rounded shaped ears. And this one could be a cat, it could be a dog, it could be a bunny, it could be a piggy. So you've got two different options for your molds. And this is the part where you're like holding and that's the part that you fill up with rice. So you put the rice in here and you're kind of like pressing it downwards. They're kind of like beach toys in a way. What is this? It's a tiny cutting board. <laughs> What does this product need? I know, a tiny cutting board. Oh my gosh, why? Or should I say, why not? Okay, I see, so it comes with these extra press pieces here. On this side, oh, this side actually says nori on it. And oh, I see, so they've got different sides for pressing different parts. Like if you want to have black ears or noses versus like using ham or um, oden or cheese. Look at this, you guys. So that must be what the cutting board is for. It's, it's the perfect shape because of course it is. Are you kidding me? It's like the perfect shape. I could take this on a picnic and impress everybody that I know. We're about to make some pig rice. I'm gonna be doing the top one, the pig. So I need to have ham for the ears, ham for the little nose, and then I need some nori, which is dried seaweed to make the eyes. I'm actually ridiculously excited about this. <laughs> okay, tiny cutting board, ham. I've got uh, a tiny toothpick, which I need to be able to poke things out. And this is to gather all my little items. Yes, of course it's Luna. What kind of a tiny plate would I have if it wasn't Luna? First we put down the ham. 
which fits perfectly on the cutting board because of course it does. This says Nori in this side, okay. Ears. I'm sure I don't need to be this violent, but oh. <laughs> Just uh, keep in mind that you will be touching someone's food a lot. Wash your hands, people. If you haven't learned that over the past two years of world trauma, wash your hands. All right, I got two ears. Um, we don't need any of this, but it is pretty cute. Oh wait, I have to make a nose. Can you believe that Japanese moms might do this every day for their children? Who better be hella grateful? That's all I have to say. Oh, it's a perving little pig nose. Okay, poking it out. Absolutely ridiculous, I can't believe this. Did I poke it the wrong way? Oh, that was really silly of me. I might have destroyed Kogi's nose. Absolute destruction! Okay, I'm gonna try it one more time. Um, be gentle with your nose. I need a do-over. Do-over. Nose is in. This time, gently. Gently, Martina, gently. You are but a gentle butterfly fluttering in the breeze. Are you? <laughs> Look at it. The tiny little nose. Okay. All right, I think that's all I need for this part. Oh, the nostrils. Oh my God. So tiny. And Don't miss things, people. All right, time for the nori eyes. I've got a crispy nori here. I'm gonna put it down. Perfect, of course, as usual. Let's see if it works. I'm not sure if this is gonna be like strong enough to punch through it, but... Whoa, sounds like I'm crushing leaves in the autumn in Canada. Breaking snow ice. When the snow has ice on top of it and you step on it, it's crunchy. Perhaps you're not supposed to be this violent. I don't imagine little Japanese housewives being like in the kitchen in the morning, but oh, uh, I got one of the eyes off on my finger, so it worked. That was um, extreme violence, apparently. The nori is very stressed out of me. Right there. Boop. Ugh. Ugh. My God, you must really love someone to make this for them every single day. It must be, it must be special only, like a, a couple of occasions that you do this for somebody. Oh, it's so cute, you know? I might have to take it back. I think the final product is probably so cute that you'd wanna do it all the time. And next up, we are going to put together the rice. So we're going to get the mold that we're using and we're gonna put the rice on the other side of it. I've wet this a little bit because I'm worried that if it's too dry, the rice might kind of stay in since it's kind of sticky. And then we're gonna turn it upside down on a plate, add our little decorations and fill it with curry and see if it is as delightful as I hope it will be. The power of editing. All right, I put some water on the inside of the mold and now I've got my fresh rice and I'm just gonna fill it up and pat it in. It's about 160 grams is what it says on the outside of the container. And in Japan, you usually get at least like 200 grams when it comes to rice, uh, but 160 is kind of like, I think like a kid sized or a small size of rice. I think this is a perfect size. It goes in quite nicely. Okay, I'm not packing too hard, but I am trying to just give it a little bit of a form. <laughs> it's so cute, I hope it works. All right. The moment of truth. You ready? Here we go. Hiya! <laughs> it totally worked. Look at it, you guys. Look at it. Okay, I'm gonna put the face together now. We've got a little nose. Goes here like this. And we've got the little eyes. I'm gonna dab a little bit of Curry just to pick this up. Uh, might go this way. Should I go this way? Absolutely ridiculous. And you've got ears. <laughs> the 
Tina, what did you do on your free time? Sometimes I shape my curry into the shape of a pig bowl. And then I eat that pig bowl. What if I got some ketchup in my cute little cheeks? I'll be right back. This might screw it all up, but Kogi does have cute little cheeks, so. But I will say I should have packed the rice a little firmer at the bottom. I can see that there's a bit of a break in the system, uh, but I was just really worried it would stick and it did nothing of the sorts. It came out super easy. So really pack it in if you use this. And now I'm adding in some vegetarian curry. This has got like pumpkin and um, I was about to say the Japanese name for it. I'm like, oh, it doesn't make any sense. Lotus root and carrots. And this is how you serve it up. You guys. Everyone must have one in their home. It's absolutely amazing. It's a little curry pig boat. Well, I think this was an absolute success. I mean, this is the pig. I can still make the bear and he has like a little cheese mouth. You can make cats, you can make foxes, you can make um, frogs. The one thing that I didn't buy, which you can get on Rakuten, is they have a kind of like furukake, which is like a seasoning powder, and you mix it into the rice and that's what changes it color. So they're not using like a food dye, they're using um, kind of like a powder that mixes in. <laughs> 10 out of 10, would recommend. You know I'm gonna just for no reason be eating like fox cheese bread and like mouse curry from now on. <sighs> Wonderful. Now this is a bit of a nostalgia trip. Uh, I am a big fan of most of the movies from Ghibli, but I do love Totoro. And I saw online, oh my gosh, <laughs> it's the real bus stop that was used in Totoro. This is much bigger than I expected. I thought it was gonna be tiny, tiny, tiny in a wee. <gasps> Look at it. Wow, it's so detailed. It even has like the cracks in the bottom, like here so it looks like it's kind of old and the rust oh my gosh it's so cute it even has like that old vintage feel it has the bus timetable this is such a nice little collector's edition i'm definitely going to put this into my fairy garden and then maybe i can have some of my other toys like waiting beside the bus stop <gasps> Now, some of you might not be interested in collecting items. You want something that has like a secondary use to it. Oh, oh, oh. well, that's why I got this totally awesome vase. <laughs> I haven't opened this, so I really don't know what it's gonna look like. Ooh, ooh, anything in here that I need? Oh, yes, okay. Oh, this is the vial. I need this for my actual flower. <gasps> Wow, this is gorgeous. <gasps> She's beautiful. Look at the detail on this. Look at the little drip that's coming from the faucet. And inside here is where you put the little vial that they have included and you add a flower to it. Isn't this great? Even the back is delightful. I mean, this would make any desk just like a heartwarming place to be. Let's see what it looks like with a flower in it. First, I will free you. This is a really clever packaging, actually. It kept the ceramic safe, but it also kept this little glass vial safe. Go in here. And I just happen to have some floor flowers nearby. <laughs> wow, what a delight. So obviously I have to put water in this so that um, I don't kill my carnation, but I think this is a, a really nice way to kind of have a collector's item, but also have something useful. I'm sure if you're not into flowers, you could just put other things in here like pencils or makeup brushes or whatever it is that you're doing, a stylus pen or something. But wow, this is just absolutely amazing. Come on, where are the Totoro fans?
Okay, I've got four different items here that I wanna talk about. So this plate is designed and made in Japan. And I know you're like, Martina, what the heck is going on here? Well, basically you guys know bentos, right? The boxes where you put the food in and you take it with you to work or school. And those are where those cute little designs come from, right? But I don't use bentos that often. I'm usually at home making food. But one of the things you know is that I don't like my food touching. Like I hate it when I have like a juicy salad or a curry and it's kind of like dripping off into my vegetables where it shouldn't be. Or I have like salad dressing seeping into like the grapes that I have. I just, I don't like it. When I saw this, I was like, this is basically like a deconstructed bento. That's right, I use those snobby words, but it makes sense, doesn't it? With this in mind, I thought, well, why don't I make a deconstructed bento on this plate? So I went ahead and bought a couple more things. I've always wanted one of these. These are nori punches, and they basically make those faces that you see on like onigiri and other objects. You put the nori in, you punch it down. Anyone who's interested in like scrapbooking or arts and craft, this feels to me like it, it feels like it's made out of metal. It's exactly like those things you do when you scrapbook and you're like punching corners, except it's made for food. Amazing. Also, I got a couple of uh, these ridiculously adorable face picks and sprout picks. So when you are eating something off of your plate and you don't want to use your chopsticks or a fork, you just pick it up by the pick and they are reusable and rewashable and it just makes everything a little bit more fun. I dare say it might be really good for if you guys have any picky eaters out there, whether they're your husbands, wives, or children. Nothing like an adorable thing to make you want to eat it. Why does it work that way? It feels like it shouldn't. Anyways, let's make ourselves a deconstructed bento a la Martina style. All right, let's see what kind of options we have. Nothing like making your food look like it's alive. Ooh, we've got, oh no. We've got, wink wink. We've got, I'm staring straight into your soul. Anime eyes. Oh, big boys. Look at, look at these in comparison. Wow. <gasps> this is, the, oh, I see. Big boy versions of everything. And the sprouts. Unceremoniously. Ooh. These are cute. So there's different like heights and shapes on them. Some of them look um, flat. Like you can see when I turn it, it's almost like a radish or a little topper. Oh, this one's a built-in tomato top. So you could really screw people up and put this on like a cherry or something. Oh, and I love the color. They're so vibrant. And we've got my nori punching set. Let's open these guys up. Ooh, this is, this is a serious business. Right away, you can see the faces that are on them. They're super cute actually. All right, we got, I'm not sure what I'm doing face. We've got, I'm super sweet face. And we've got extra super sweet face. So the way that these guys work is you actually just slip the nori in, in this side here, punch it, and it's gonna come out the back. Let's start decorating food the way that adults always have wanted in their lives. It's the fun part. You better believe I made some tiny octopus wieners. Um, I know when I say it now out loud, it sounds like I have taken an octopus and chopped off its wiener, but that's not what I mean. I mean, I've made like those little hot dogs. You cut the bottoms and you boil them and they split and they look like little tiny, like, like octopus, which doesn't make sense because there's only four, but don't think too much into it. I think we need to have like a wink wink octopus for sure. <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely amazing. <laughs> and maybe we need to have, um, what about a little doop? Please don't eat me, I'm so small. You are gonna get eaten, trust me. And we can do big eyed, big eyed guy. No, I need to save some of these. What about just a little sprout top? It's an um, organic free range hot dog found in the ocean. I've also got some tamagoyaki. Uh, if you've watched my breakfast video, I showed you how to make it. And so I'm just gonna do, I don't know if it's gonna work. I hope I do it right. There's like a way that you can cut it and you can make like a heart shape out of it. Oh yeah. See, a little, little heart shape. Oh, I'll put a face on it with the nori puncher. Tomatoes on the vine, take them off the vine and put in a fake vine, make it very, very meta. <laughs> It's so ridiculous. It's like a little collection of uh, aliens coming to get you. What, a, what an excellent way to eat food. Oh my gosh. Oof. 
I accidentally ate some. Mm. Might sound crazy, but because of the plate division, I'm gonna make some dessert on the side. These are Japanese grapes. They are so lush and so wonderful. Hopefully they won't spray the heck out of me when I do this. Gah! <laughs> it's so cute! Don't play with your food, huh? Japan disagrees with you. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay, next up, I'm gonna work on the nori punching and the onigiri. The thing about nori is you have to kind of keep it in the package before you use it. It gets moist really quickly depending on where you live. Japan is so humid that even the nori that I used like five minutes earlier has already shriveled up into a tiny ball. So keep your nori closed, everybody. Okay, we've got this one here. So I'm gonna put this in the side. a collection of faces here. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I'm willing to give it a try. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's so funny. I can just see moms up at five in the morning punching tiny sheets of nori and using toothpicks to apply things to their onigiri for their kids to go to school and go, I don't want to eat this again. And I'd be like, you're gonna eat your penguin onigiri, do you hear me? Let me spend an hour punching up nori for you. This one's an abominable snowman. As you can clearly tell, I'm sure. I've made like all these like little monsters. And last up, I can put in my mapo tofu. This way it won't touch my grape aliens and it won't seep into the rice and cause it to go all soggy. Ah, oh, look at it! My creation, my world. Who says don't play with your food? Japan says just go for it. I love this. They're adorable. Like, I mean, imagine going on a picnic or, you know, like if you're at home and you have guests over, Christmas time, any kind of time when you want to have like cute additions to your serving, a uh, Halloween, hello, you can make like adorable scary things. I love this, and I also love that my food stays separate so that I can put my mapo tofu with my rice and not worry about my grapes getting all like gross and mapo tofu -ed. And also, accessibility-wise, I really like how light this is. The material is not cheap in any way, but it feels quite light, and it's nice to have everything in one go because it can be really tiring to go back and forth with a bunch of different plates to wash them all. This is just like one plate in one go. So there's only one thing left to do, which is for me to destroy my wonderful village. No, no. I'm sorry. No, I have too much to live for. If you buy them, I've got the links in the info box. Please send me some pictures on Instagram so I can see what you've come up with. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited about this one because I went to an izakaya and I ordered sake. This was just recently. And the guy brings over the sake in a sake cup and he pours it for me and he leaves. He doesn't say anything, he doesn't explain anything. And then suddenly something amazing happened to my cup. Like, where did he get these from? These are amazing. Well, ya gal over here found it on Rakuten. The, the name on this box, I think you should all say it like five times fast. Sake Sakura Saku. Sake sakura saku, sake sakura saku, sake sakura saku, sake sakura saku, sake sakura saku. Whoa! What cute packaging as well, so pink. Ooh, what's this all about, you ask? Nice, really nice packaging, actually. It's quite, quite a firm design, so it doesn't actually move around and jolt. Okay, I've got a bottle of sake here. Ooh, I'm excited. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's happening so quickly. I'm only gonna do one so that you can see the comparison between the two. Oh my goodness, you guys, can you see what's happening here? It's blooming. The tree is adding blossoms to it. So it starts out as like just a plain tree and then slowly it starts to turn pink and these beautiful petals appear. And I was talking and chatting with friends and then I glanced down at my cup and saw that there was like a full blown beautiful cherry blossom tree on my in my dish, but I hadn't noticed it before. And I'm like, this is really weird. So I ended up like downing it. It disappeared again. So it was just such a nice kind of surprise. Oh, it's so pretty. So 
So it seems here that if it drops below 17 degrees Celsius, it's made for cold sake. They say that cherry blossom petals will appear as you drink. I just think it's such a lovely souvenir to have. And you know, you don't have to serve it with sake. You can serve it with anything that's cold. I'm so glad I got this. <laughs> Well, I guess I better do one last check, you know, just to make sure that both of the cups work because, you know, one if one cup doesn't work, it's, um, it could be a possibility of some kind. Just a sample of sake. Cheers. Kampai, everybody. So beautiful. Now, if there's one thing I feel like my house is lacking, that's more collectibles for my garden and for my fairy garden. This is a special edition. It's the Yasai, so the vegetable playful collection, the collection. And it comes with um, six different types of adorable little Totoro sprites. And one of them is a surprise item. You don't know what it's gonna be and what it's gonna be like. I am very excited to open this. It is so cute to begin with. It looks like it, it is a little vegetable box delivery, right? Oh my gosh, ah, how, how cute. This is like when you go to a place in Japan and you spend money on one of them and like you don't know which one you're gonna get. But this is the collection of all six. That's very, very cool. So it's like you've got the whole set. It's like a Jenga. <gasps> it looks like a tiny vegetable box. Oh my gosh. It's even got fake tape up top. See? <laughs> all right, one, two, three. Four, five, six. I'll be keeping this adorable little box for something. So of the six options, Renkon, which is lotus root cut in half, which is what it looks like, that cute little flowery look. You can get cabbage, you can get tomato, there is watermelon, there's green onion, and then there's the secret one that we don't know. What's your call, everybody? Call it now. Make your guess, make your pick, make your guess. I think I'm gonna get the onion one. Oh, I ripped the box. I don't know how to open this in a good way. Ah! Well, then now it's just destroyed, so I'll be better for the next ones, I swear. It's gone terribly wrong. Come on. It's fine. Total chaos. Oh my God. Opened it with total ease and care, as you can see. <laughs> okay, it'll be better the next time. Who did I get? I thought I was gonna get green onion first. And I am correct. <gasps> it's so cute. Look at this precious detail. He's all tangled up in a green onion. Wow, it is so detailed. <gasps> bird, little bird butt. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. All right, let us continue forward and see what else I'm gonna get. I'm sorry. I did not know how to open it. And this time, I'm gonna be less chaotic with this. Aha, there were three pieces of tape. And it's glued. She's getting there all on her own. Look at this, way less chaos. We're going for tomato, tomato. Who are we gonna get? <gasps> it's the watermelon one. Oh my gosh. Super cute. Watermelons, I love them. You guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. It closes up on him. <gasps> you got the little guy on top sitting on the watermelon and then you can lift it up and inside. <laughs> There's this the little guy sitting there. Look at the detail. Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? I'm saying tomato. Oh, this is the special one. Oh, it's a little paprika. It's a little pepper. You guys. Boop. Nick was hiding inside. He thought it was a seed, but he was like, ah, there's a human coming. Eep. And he hid behind it. Come on, tomato. It is still not the tomato. Oh, it's the lotus root. So there's a tiny, tiny guy hiding up here. And the other guy's hiding behind. <laughs> He's using it as self-defense. He's like, you can't see me. Come on, tomato. I was only right once. <laughs> it's totally gonna be, aha, uh -huh. first try. I knew it. Tomato, oh my gosh. Oh wow, it's got this like really cute, juicy top to it. You see it dripping there? 
Look at its little top. I mean, this looks like a tomato to me. <laughs> that means last but not least, tomato. No, wait, cabbage. For those of you that don't know, um, cabbage is used so much in Japan. It was quite surprising to me how much people eat cabbage. If you go to like an izakaya and you sit down before you start your meal, sometimes they'll just give you a bowl full of like roughly chopped cabbage covered in this like super addictive sesame oil, salty kind of dressing. Wow. Look, he's got a cute little, instead of the stem up top, he's got a little worm being like, I swear, I swear there's nothing to see here. Wow, look at the folds and the details. Now let's take a look at these in all their glory. So thank you again to Rakuten for sponsoring this video. I love all the stuff that I got. And if some of these items tickle your fancy, why do I keep saying that? I don't know. It's in the info box below. I'll have like links to all the different shops. And if you're thinking of buying something between September 4th and September 11th, they're having the Rakuten super sale and you get extra points for shopping in multiple shops. And remember the points equal money for further shopping. So that might be a good time period if you wanna try it out. Oh, and one more thing, if you're feeling a little bit worried about the website being in Japanese, you can use Google Translate. It's an extension for your different browsers and it can just help you navigate through the site. I definitely had to use that a couple times. And if you like what I've been doing on this channel, I have opened up King Kogi memberships on YouTube and also on Patreon. They get you a lot of extra perks as well as really adorable emojis besides your name. So check the info box for links to that as well. Just check the info box. It's got all the stuff in it. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go discuss things with King Kogi and why I ate a curry bowl shaped like him. Wee wee wee. I mean, it wasn't made out of pork. I was using vegetarian curry. Wee 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 wee.